Hey guys, today I'm super excited because I'm gonna share something with you that I can't wait for you guys to see. Today we're gonna create our very own free media center which will be the new home for all your media. Now here you can see already a little glimpse of what it's going to look like in the end. It's going to be super easy to make. It will be completely remote controlled. No more getting up again to change the channel, change the video, change the music or whatever. And all we need to create this is just one computer to install the system on and one smartphone or tablet that we will use as a remote control. Now you will of course be able to hook this up to your television also, so it's going to be a very complete media center. Now I've been using this system for years and years already and I've been installing it for so many friends and family and it's just absolutely awesome and I can't wait to share this with all you guys out there. So if you guys are just as excited as me, drop me a like since I just started my channel. I hope you guys will support me a bit and also hit the subscribe button so we can help each other out. And if you want to optimize your PC first before doing this, then be sure to check my video on how to do that. I have a great video on how to optimize your Windows 10 computer. And there we go guys, let's jump into it. So we're gonna do this installation in four steps, you guys. We're gonna first install Kodi. Kodi will be the base program that we'll be using for our media center. Kodi is a piece of free software that's completely open source. It's a very powerful tool. So big, big credits to the guys who make this. They're all over the world. There are a bunch of developers who make this for free for all of us to use and it's very easy to be modified. So we're gonna be using that program as a base for our media center. Now as a second step, we're gonna be installing an image on our Kodi, which means that we're gonna create a build. And now as I showed you in the beginning, I'm gonna show you a little glimpse here again. This is what it's going to look like. This is basically the image that we will be installing onto our Kodi, which will give you the nice interface with everything that you need. Now as a third step, we're gonna configure your remote control for which we will be using your smartphone basically, which is the easiest way to do that. And as a fourth step, we're gonna completely customize the media center to how we want it to be. We're gonna customize the layout, we're gonna customize what you do want and what you don't want on the media center so that it can be completely how you like it to be. So guys, let's jump into it. And first of all, we're gonna be installing Kodi. Now to install Kodi, we're just gonna open our web browser and we're gonna to surf to the website kodi.tv. You're gonna open that one and go to the download button on the right top corner. And we're gonna scroll down until we see choose your weapon. Here we're gonna take Windows and I'm gonna choose for the 64-bit installer and the download has started. Now we're gonna fast forward here a little bit until it's in. And there we go. And once it's downloaded, you can just click it open and the installer should start. Now we're gonna take next right here and I agree. Just gonna click next. You have no commercials or no ads in this installer and it actually goes pretty quick. So you'll see it'll finish pretty fast. And there we go, we can close our web page and we can click the Run Kodi button and we can click Finish. There we go, our Kodi is now installed as you see and it's completely clean. So now there is no image applied and this is just the standard clean version of Kodi. Now you can operate this with your mouse or you can use your arrow keys, but for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna be using my mouse. Now we're gonna click the wheel on top here and we're gonna go into the file manager. So we're gonna double click Add Source right here. Now you're gonna click None here and you're gonna enter this website. And when you're done, you're gonna click OK. I'll be sure to put this in the description. And at the name for this media source, you can click and you can enter here, Cody, no limits. And you can click OK. Now, when you're done here, you click OK again, and this will be adding the media source to our Cody. Now you're gonna go back all the way by clicking the backspace button on your keyboard until you come back at the begin screen. And there you're gonna go to add-ons right here. You're gonna click it and you're gonna go on the left top corner to this icon right here. You're gonna click it and you're gonna click install from zip file. Now this will bring up a notice that we cannot install stuff from unknown sources. So we need to adjust those settings. So you can click settings right here. And this little box here with unknown sources, you can put the slider to the right and you can click yes here. Now we're gonna hit the backspace button on our keyboard and this will bring us back to the install from zip file. And you can click that one. And here we're gonna select the Kodi No Limits source. Now we're gonna click here the plugin video No Limits Wizard. And this will start installing our plugin. Now when you get this notice that No Limits Wizard is installed, then you're finished and you can click here on continue. Now you'll get this pop-up and here we're gonna take the build menu. 
and in the build menu we can choose our server now there's server 1 server 2 and server 3 and even a server 4 here so if one doesn't work exactly then you can take another one now there are different versions for this there's versions for the fire stick there's versions for no adult content there's versions with adult so you can basically choose whatever you want right here i'm just going to take the first option from the first server there we go and then we will be choosing for a fresh install so you can double click that one and we're going to click here continue now this will start downloading and installing the whole image this can take quite a while i would say it takes about two three minutes until it's completely finished so you can wait it out we're going to fast forward here a little bit of course and there we go when it's finished you will get this notice if you want to reload your profile or force close and here we're going to choose the force close option now as we do that we're going to go back into Kodi by starting it up and you'll see that you have already everything installed so the image is now there so everything is already looking like this so there's a lot of sections here there's kids here there's music there's movies there's tv shows you can see as i scroll through them they all give you a nice background some more stuff is installing on the background for your plugin but basically this is already what your media center will be looking like now we need to customize it and we need to make a remote control for it of course so I say we focus on that right now and we're going to take our smartphones, our tablets and we're going to be installing an app on them to control our Kodi. Now before the app for the remote control will work we will need to adjust one more setting inside Kodi. So you can put your cursor on networks and you can scroll up until you get the system option. Now if you're there you can click it and in there we're going to be going to the services icon right here. Now we're going to go on the left to control and next to control on the allow remote control you can put the slider to the right. Now as a password I'm going to put also Cody here and in the bottom you can also put this little slider to the right where it says allow remote control from applications on other systems. Now once you've done that you can hit the backspace a couple of times so you get back on the start screen and right now we're going to be setting up our remote control. So now you can go ahead and take your phone or your tablet and you can head on over to the play store or to the apple store and we're going to be downloading an application named core. This is the official remote for Kodi so you can go ahead and press install. We're going to be waiting until the download is finished and once it is you can go ahead and press open. Now it will ask you if you want to add a media center and right here you can click on next. Now this will be detecting if there is any media center on your network but usually it won't find anything even though it's configured as it should be. So we're going to hit next again right here and we're going to be manually entering the media center into the system. Now here as a name I'm going to take bedroom. And as an address, I'm going to need the IP address from my Kodi. Now at this point, you can hit the Windows button and you're going to type here CMD. Now you can open the command prompt right here and you're going to type here IP config. Now you can enter after that and you should see your IP address at the wireless LAN adapter. Now as you can see, this is mine right here. So this is what I need to be entering in my remote control in Kodi. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as a port, we're going to set 8080. As a username, we entered Kodi. And as a password, also we entered Kodi. So we're going to go ahead and click test right here. And now it should be connecting to our media center. There we go. All done. So you can go ahead and click finish right here. We're going to close the CMD window with the IP address. So at this point, you can just put the mouse aside and you can control the media center already with your remote control. Now at this point we want to customize our media center to look exactly how we want it to look. For example, there's some stuff here that I don't want, like this more collections, network, I don't really want those things. But what I do want is I want an extra tab to say libraries and I want to put my own video music libraries in there and everything so I can actually operate it very easy from my beginning screen. Now what I also want is under my power option right here, I want an extra function to have a shutdown timer so I can actually set my system to shut down after, for example, two hours or something in case I fall asleep. So how are we going to do all that? It's pretty easy. We're going to go here to the system and we're going to click it and there we're going to open the system icon right here. Now here I want you to go to power saving on the left side and at the shutdown function I want you to put shutdown instead of quit. Now once you've done that you can hit the backspace a couple of times until you come back at the beginning screen and here at system again we're going to go a little bit to the right and into the skin settings. 
Now in the skin settings, you can see the main menu right here and you can click the set up the Aeon Nox main menu. Now here, as you see, are all the tabs that we see in the begin screen. We have the movies, TV shows, more and so on. Now, if you want to make one disappear, all you need to do is right click it and you're gonna click disable. So more will not be showing anymore now in my menu. So I don't want the collections. I don't want the networks and all these things right here. I am going to disable. And there we go, that should be a lot better already. So if we go with the backspace back to our beginning screen, we're gonna see that we have a lot less stuff already, so this is very good. Now what we want to do is add an extra shortcut right here and put our own video and music libraries that we have on the computer there. So how are we gonna do that? It's pretty easy, we're gonna click the system right here, we're gonna click media right here, and then we're gonna go into the library tab right here and into the videos. Now here you can scroll all the way down until where it says add videos and here we want to browse to our media source. So for example, I have a USB stick now in my computer which has all my series so I'm just going to be browsing to there. Now that's going to be right here and as you see I have all these series right here so I'm going to click OK and OK again and at this directory contains we're going to set TV shows. Now I'm going to click OK again. Do you want to refresh information for all items? You can click yes. And there we go. Now as you can see it's already scanning all the TV shows that are on this stick. So it's gonna be looking already for all the subtitles, all the background pictures and everything for those series. So they will be looking very nice in the end when they're added. So if you did that you can hit the backspace button a couple times until you're at the begin screen and we're gonna go again into the system and then a bit on the right into the skin settings right here. Now we're gonna click those open and we're gonna go into the main menu again and we're gonna add here in this list a library button. So how are we gonna do that? It's very simple. You're gonna hit the plus button right here on the top. Then you'll get a new entry where it says none. So you can click that and go to the right and at set label, we're gonna be typing the name. So I'm gonna call it my series. There we go, this is done. And what we need to do now is set an action. So at change action, we're gonna take a video library right here. We're gonna go to sources and we're gonna add this video library that we made right here. Now when you see this window, you can click create menu item two here. And at this pop-up, you can select the TV shows. Now there we go, that should be all done. Now if we go back to the beginning screen by hitting the backspace button a couple times, you're gonna see that our library button will soon be added to our system. There we go, it should be there now. And as you can see, here are my series. Now if I go into my series, you're gonna see that my friends is here, How I Met Your Mother, The Big Bang, and Two and a Half Men. Now they already have the pictures on the side, as you can see, and I can go nicely in them. I have my seasons divided here, so I can go in whichever one I want. And here, as you see, the layout is very nice. You already get a little bit of information about the episode and everything. So this media center is really working very, very nice. Now, there's one more thing I wanna add, and that's a shutdown function timer. And then we're gonna see how this whole thing works all together. So we're gonna go again to system, and when you're there, you can go down until the skin settings menu. And again, we're going to go into the main menu right here. Now we're going to scroll down until we see power. And at power, we want to change the sub menu. So we're going to hit manage sub menu right here. And these are the options that you have under the power menu. Now what I want, I don't need this option right here. So I'm actually going to change this option. And I'm going to change the name to shutdown timer. So I'm going to actually leave the color because it looks pretty nice. There we go, and then we're gonna hit the done button. Then we're gonna click on change action right here, and we're gonna go into the Kodi command, and then we're gonna pick the add timer button right here. Now when this is done, you can just go out of it by hitting the backspace button a couple of times, and then your skin menu will start rebuilding. And there we go, and if you go to the power option right now, you can see that the shutdown timer is actually added in green letters right there. So that's it, now our media center is completely finished, so let's have a look on how this all works together. Now you can go ahead and take your phone and make sure you're connected on the same Wi-Fi network as your laptop. We're gonna open the core application and we're gonna see that nothing is playing. So we're gonna slide the screen to the right, and at the arrows here, we're gonna go check out everything that you can do with the media center. Now for starters, let's go to the series tab, which is what we made ourselves in the previous step. We're gonna open it up and as you can see there's my series and we're just gonna open friends right here you can see we get the seasons all lined up right here i'm gonna take just season three and episodes let's say number two and there we go it starts playing now as you can see on the phone you get a nice interface right there where you can stop and pause flash forward and all that 
You can also slide the screen to the left and you'll get another interface where you can press the three dots on the right and you can push subtitles and we're gonna be hitting download subtitles right there. And on your Kodi, you can see you get some options. So just take the top one right there and you should have subtitles under your video. So we're gonna go ahead and stop this and we're gonna go all the way back to the start screen. And here we're gonna go to the left and check out the other shortcuts. Now we have movies, for example, here, and you can see some thumbnails right here that you can open. Now this is streamed content. So I have to warn you guys here, this is actually piracy if you don't have a license or the legit version at home to watch this. So be careful with that. The same goes for the music tab right here, the kids, which are basically kids movies. You have a bit more to the right, the TV shows also and the live TV option right here. Now, if you're done with your system, you can go ahead and go to power and you can go to either the shutdown timer on the left where you can put a time until your system will shut down. If you just want to close code, you go to quit and save. And if you want to completely power off your system, you just hit the power off option right here. Now I do want to mention guys, there are more builds out there. So if you don't like this interface, you can always go look for another one on the internet. And all you will have to do is change the website that we entered in the first step. So do feel free to go and check out other interfaces. And if you find something nice, be sure to leave it in the comments so I can go and check it out also. And this is basically it guys. Now you can go ahead and hook your laptop or your computer up to your television and you'll have a complete media center on there completely for free, quickly installed. And I promise you guys, it's awesome to use i'm really happy that i got to share this with you today so go ahead and go and test yours let me know in the comments if everything worked fine for you and be sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you want to help me out now i have some more cool videos about how to boost your windows 10 performance about how to boost your chrome performance and some cool other things that you can actually do with your laptop that you probably didn't know about so be sure to go and check them out guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video